So let me talk a little bit about the equipment we're using to uh, run both the swim baits and the crank baits. When you're running a swim bait like this, it's real important to first of all pick out a swim bait that has a real easy action. What I mean by that is you shouldn't have to pull it very much. That paddle tail should start vibrating. I like the three inch size. To me, that's the best one for the best action. Quarter ounce jig so we can you know, swim it back fairly fast. Then what I use for line is a no stretch line. I started out using a, a fluorocarbon leader when we first started fishing, but I found out pretty quick it really didn't matter and it just took longer to retie if I did get broke off. So I'm just tying the Nanofill right straight to my jig head. I'm using a eight pound Nanofill here. And I like that no stretch line because it gives you a lot of sensitivity. And what you're feeling for is not just the vibration of this tail, but also if you tick a weed, you know that. Um, as far as a rod, what I like to use is a medium light rod. Uh, for this jigging, I like a six foot rod like this. You want medium light because of that no stretch line. Yet that rod has got to shock absorb that initial hit and then allow you to fight that fish in. Uh, pretty much the same setup uh, for crankbait fishing. The only real difference is I go to a little bit longer rod here. I go to a seven foot rod, medium light, just so I can get a little bit whip, better whip and cast with this. I know even Tim just used this one rod for both the swim jig and for the crankbait. So get a, get a system where you can feel that bait running out there, but then have a medium light rod so that you can actually fight that fish in and get them into the boat.